So, in review, you can add markups to your PDFs, and you can customize their appearances really easily. But what if you want to go a little further and do things like add hyperlinks to markups, flatten them into your PDF content, or even assign them to their own layers? Well, you can do all of that in review too. Let's take a look. The Snapshot tool, which you can find on the Edit toolbar or the Edit menu bar, allows you to copy a selection from your PDF's content to your clipboard. So you can paste it elsewhere, or even save it into your tool chest for future use. A snapshot will maintain the vector data and image quality of the original PDF content. To add a file attachment to any PDF, go to Markup, Attachment, and select a file to add. Then drop it on your PDF. You can change the appearance of this image in the Properties tab. To open the attachment, double-click it and select Open or Save As. Now it will open in the default program for that file type, if you have a program installed that will open it. All the attachments you add to a PDF will also show up in this list in the document's properties. To add a hyperlink to a markup, right-click it and go to Edit Action. You'll be given this dialog where you can choose what content you wish for this link to open. A page or place on an open PDF, a snapshot view on the current PDF, a website, or another file. Make your selection and click OK. Now this little icon will show up next to the markup, which you can click to follow the link. Flattening gives you full control to ensure your markups are permanent and will transfer correctly when opened in other PDF viewers. To flatten markups on your PDF, go to Document and click Flatten. Here you can choose whether or not to allow markup recovery. This will allow you or any review user the ability to unflatten these markups later. You can also flatten these markups to a new layer on your PDF by checking this box. If you don't choose a different layer name here, these markups will be saved to a new layer called Markups. Click Options and you can make adjustments to this markups layer. Check here to allow any markups already on a layer to stay on that layer after you hit Flatten. Check here to add and customize overlay text that will appear on this new flattened markup layer. Next, you can allow a markup's properties to be viewable when you click on that markup's image after flattening. And here, you can choose which markups to flatten. Finally, designate a page range for the flattening here. And even add more files to be flattened. If you've already flattened the markups in a PDF and want to unflatten them so you can edit them again, click this arrow next to Flatten and select Unflatten. Or you can open the Flatten dialog again and click Unflatten. Now all of the previously flattened markups will be unflattened. To flatten only one markup or a small group of markups, select them, right-click, and select Flatten. Review also allows you to add markups to layers without having to flatten them. Right-click a markup and go to Layer, and add the markup to a layer that already exists or create a new one. You can also create a new layer from the Layers tab. Go to Tab Access and click Layers. Click here to create a new layer.
Review also allows you to designate a particular layer as the Markups layer. Right-click a layer in the Layers tab and select Markup Layer. Now, any markups you add to this document for this session will be assigned to this layer. But don't worry, markups with pre-existing layer assignments will not be affected by this change. Click these icons to show or hide the layers. To group multiple markups together so they can be used and added to the tool chest as one markup, select both markups by holding down Shift or using the Lasso tool, right-click them, and select Group Markups. Now you can move them around and edit them together. And you can save them into your tool chest like this. You might notice now that many of the tools that Bluebeam provides, either built into review or as free downloads on our website, contain a lot of markups that were grouped together, just like this. If you want to go back in and edit a single markup that is in a group, hold down Alt and Select. To ungroup the markups, right-click and select Ungroup. There are other advanced features that help you position and align markups on your pages. Review automatically sets up an invisible grid on your PDFs. To show this grid while you work, click Settings and select Show Grid. And to adjust this grid to better fit your needs, go back to that settings menu and click Preferences. Open the Grid and Snap section, and here you can change your unit of measurement, adjust the grid spacing, and turn on Snap to Grid, Snap to Content, or Snap to Markup. You can also turn these on directly from the settings menu. The Snap to Grid option will tell your markups to snap to the closest point on the grid, whether or not you've set the grid to be visible. The Snap to Content option will have your markups snap to vector content in your PDFs as you add them. This can be especially helpful when using the markup tools for takeoffs and estimation. And the Snap to Markup option will allow you to easily align new markups according to the placement of other markups. If you want to align your markups after you've added them to your PDF, you can do that easily with the Alignment Tools. Turn on the Alignment Toolbar by right-clicking somewhere on your toolbars and selecting Alignment. Now you can select multiple markups and align them by a side, or by their shape or size. You can also choose to distribute them so there are even spaces between them horizontally or vertically. To flip a markup, click one of these options. These options are also available in the right-click menu under Alignment. As you add markups to a PDF, they will stack visually on top of one another in the order you place them on the page. If you want to change that visual order, right-click a markup, go to Order, and select Bring to Front, 
send to back. Bring forward. Or send backward. And there you have it. The advanced options you have when adding or editing markups in Bluebeam Review. Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers!